I know exactly. Good morning, everybody hear me? Come on in a little bit, right? You know, got church. <laughs> well, good morning and welcome to the uh, re-grand opening of the Stevens T. Mason building. My name is David B. and I'm the director and CIO for uh, part of technology management budget. And uh, we have a great day today to do this, right? And it's an exciting time for everybody. Uh, I have to tell you, this would not have been, uh, this today wouldn't be possible all the collaborative, collaborative efforts of everybody, right? Our private partners, our ABC partners, DTMB folks. Um, a lot of hard work and coordination has led to this final product. Uh, I will tell you, uh, this beautifully redone building behind us, right here, right? Um, is going to allow state employees to work in a safe and comfortable environment. And it's also going to provide long-term savings for taxpayers. So those those are two things right there that are very important. Um, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure all of you have walked through the building yet, but you're going to have an opportunity to in a little while. And I will tell you, um, it's the best space in state government by far now. So. Uh, <laughs> Before I get into the details of everything, I, I, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the history. I am a history major. I want to talk a little bit about the history of the building here for a second. Um, uh, most of you know, and so I also want to talk about the name first, right? So most know that Stevens T. Mason was the first governor of Michigan, right? How many knew that? All right, what was his nickname? Anybody know? Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How old was he? How old was he when he became a territorial governor? No, you're all wrong. <laughs> I didn't hear the right answer yell out. 22. 22. I don't know about you, but uh, I was not governor material at 22. <laughs> Nor am I now. <laughs> so I'm not sure what you were doing at 22, but. Uh, he seems, certainly seemed to have things going right. Um, the cost uh, of the building, it was the original cost for the building completed originally in 1953, uh, more than 62 years ago, was $5.3 million. Uh, this was the second state office building built besides the state capitol. Um, no, actually, the this was the second state office building outside of this capitol. The Cass building was the first one that was built. Everyone's over there written on their head like, yeah, you got this all. <laughs> we knew that. Uh, the building was dedicated on November 10th, 1953. By then, oh, Governor, I just cut off my big toe. <laughs> By then, Governor G, G. Menon Williams, uh, one of the architects on the team that designed the building, this building, went on to design the World Trade Centers in New York. So a lot of great history on this building, and um, while it was while it's been a great building for for state employees for over you know six almost six decades, it had become clear that the renovations for this building were were, were necessary and important. Um, especially if we're going to continue to house our, our you know important employees here. So termination was made um, not too long ago that not only were we going to redo the building, but we were going to completely gut it. And so that's what we did. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I just want to touch on the fact that we, re, we brought it down to bare bones and rebuilt it. I want to touch on just a couple of things that are going to make this building that much more effective and efficient and a great space for everyone to be in. We completely replaced the HVAC system. So it's much more energy efficient and provides a more, much more comfortable environment. I think when you get in there and you start working in there, you're going to see that. Um, we have, a, we have something called a daylight harvesting system. That's pretty cool, huh? Right, does anyone know what that does? No, but I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> that, it, it's, it's daylight, that adjusts indoor lighting based on the amount, amount of natural light that comes in. That's pretty important in those winter months, I think, isn't it? Right, we need to see that natural light, and I think when you see the, 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 the floors as you go in there today, there's gonna be a ton of natural light. And so that's something that we're excited about. The new restrooms, which are important, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yes! They are important restrooms, right? Uh, touchless fix fixtures and showers installed in the garden level as well. I mean, it's important not only for for, every, for the cleanliness of the building, but also for the work, you know, I like to talk about worksite wellness as well. And to be able to have 
you know, showers and facilities in the basement. So, and the garden, no, we don't call it basement. The garden level <laughs> is really important. Um, and so we're excited about that. We also have new fiber optic and data cable and Wi-Fi throughout the building. Now they look at people clapping in the front row. That's good to see. Um, and I think that allows for a, work, uh, a flexible work environment where people can uh, be more effective, efficient, and, and be anywhere working. So, uh, that, so those are some of the great new touches we have at this building. And, and you're going to get a tour of that, and it's going to be great. These renovations allow the state to eliminate at least one long-term lease and align state employees better geographically with their peers, which is important. With the state of our, with the state of the art building, the state will also save immensely on future maintenance costs. You know, the fact that this building is redone, we have a preventive maintenance program, it's going to be a lot of this building to go on for years and years. Now, none of this, as I said earlier, would be possible if it's not for the dedication from our uh, our private partners. Um, I want to name them now. The CSM Group, Jones uh, Lang LaSalle, DBI, Candace Flooring, Matrix Consulting Engineers Inc., Lansing Tile and Isaiah Inc., and Bergman Associates all worked tremendously hard on this project. And a lot of credit goes to them for their partnership with the with DTMB, state government, with our agency partners. Because I know that moving people and redoing buildings is not easy. But I think all of them together have done a, have done a very good job. I also, yes. I also want to thank our fellow state agencies and the lucky new tenants of this wonderful building, uh, DIFFS, DTMB, ORS, and Lara Myosha, for their continued support, their continued support during this time of transition. Uh, I understand. I was unfortunately I couldn't be here this week. Uh, I it was a Monday when we moved in. Uh, look at all the yellow shirts. I love it. Um, I couldn't be here on Monday, but I understand the move in for the first 80 to 100 people went smoothly, um, and we look forward to filling this building over the next few months with a smooth transition. Um, and that'll be uh, working very closely with all of our state partners. So. Um, I'd like to now welcome the director of one of our tenants, yes, and Flood, who's going to say a few words and then we'll cut the ribbon. Um, first of all, I want to ask you all of you standing here, who has already moved in? You like it? They say it's nice and quiet because we the rest of us <laughs> So the rest of you, is everyone else moving in? Raise your hand if you are going to be one of the new tenants. Great. Great. Yay. Yay. Well, I'll try to be quick, but I do want to have some thanks um, to go out first. Um, first of all, I want to thank DTMB for this wonderful ceremony, having us here to celebrate a really renovated Mason building, and um, thanks for the nice weather, too. Nothing great till today. DTMB does everything. <laughs> so, although we, some of our districts all have bought uh, the Mason building, their new home away from home, um, the rest of us are going to be moving soon, and I just want to remind the DIF staff that the Mason Building is here in Lansing, Michigan, not in Mason, Michigan. <laughs> and we had a cute video that some of our staff put on um, last week, and um, we had some confusion as to where the Mason Building was. <laughs> Pretend confusion. confusion. We, I walked by here, I don't know how many times, and really never knew the history of the Mason Building, but I ever thought that this would be part of our new tenant, which was pretty good to be here. We've grown a lot in recent years, uh, becoming a department just a couple of years ago, and um, certainly a dream come true for me personally as well as our department to have a new space that's comfortable, we can all be together. Um, and I want to thank just everyone for the countless hours that put in to make this really happen actually. It's this year, and I cannot believe it's been some time. It's just it is incredible. And I think it, it's worth having this such a significant As you will see, if you haven't already, this is essentially a new building. I mean, when I talk about the bathrooms, which is my top one priority, <laughs> the showers are great. Um, and actually, um, tomorrow's my last day. I'm going to be moving on to the private sector. So on a personal note, I want to thank everybody um, for their hard work and dedication, protecting consumers, 
and make, making sure our institutions have financially stable and viable day in and day out, and regardless of our physical location. We have a lot of staff, a third of our staff isn't actually going to be in this building, but they're housed in Michigan. So I want to thank this staff for this one. Um, and then finally, I just want to give personal re recognition to some names and put some faces with names today. DTMB staff, Jim Park, and then if you're here, just raise your hand. Steve Urban, Jamie <laughs> Gray, Robin Miller. Who's going to be here? I, I make sure I pronounce his name right. Doug <laughs> <laughs> Church, Matt <laughs> Harrison, Tom Stibbett, and then our fifth staff, which has worked tirelessly as well. Penny Wright, <laughs> Joe Lockhart. So thank you again. Have a great day. Enjoy the reception and the tours. And, uh, I remember that conversation in January. It was pretty one-sided. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a lot of listening. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> terse, too. <laughs> so while she was instrumental in making this happen, she's actually got right? So we'd like to say to Anne, and, you know, good luck in uh, good luck in your future endeavors, and thank you for your leadership. And thank you. Our building, so this is not just Anna, this is everyone's building. So let's bring as many people up as we can and see what we can do.